Hello, pleasant good evening, everybody. Good afternoon, I guess I should say. Let me get my sound mixer up here. Welcome to rainy, overcast Langley Airfield. And this afternoon's virtual USA Flying Club event where we are celebrating women in aviation and we are particularly particularly honoring a female a aviator called Nancy Harkness Love and uh, she was part of the uh, well amongst other things part of the women's auxiliary Ferris I can't talk today <laughs> women's auxiliary ferry squadron and so we're going to do a little something here today to pay tribute to her. So nice to see everybody. Hello. Happy Saturday. Um, she did a little bit more sporty aircraft than uh, what I'm flying today. She, the P-51 Mustang, the uh, P-38 Lightning, even, uh, even the, she even flew the fort. So that's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, and uh, had a big, big uh, squadron of, a of aviators that helped her out, but uh, we're going to be flying into Wilmington today, which is the home of the uh, Women's Auxiliary Ferry Squadron. And that's why we're down here in Langley, because it's uh, fairly close to just about the right distance away, honestly. Oops, what have I done? Uh, my mouse uh, is not working very well. I think it might be on the, uh, on the outs, but... Anyway, here it is. Again, the uh, beautiful DC-3, the Duckworks mod DC-3. And we found ourselves a nice uh, World War II livery, the old Whiskey 7 livery. And, yeah, this is what we're dealing with. Man, look at how fast those clouds are moving. Holy moly. <laughs> this could be interesting. But um, we are going to actually we're gonna actually go um, IFR today. So uh, we're just sort of planning for the worst. Hope for the best, right? Isn't that what you do? What is our route? Here we go. Here's the route that we're going to be attempting. We are out of Langley. Oh, and I turned all my layers off because it was actually really difficult to see. But uh, here's all the junk we've got. We're flying through. But... You can't see it here, but it's mainly up the coastline um, and uh, into Newcastle. They're actually landing runway one right now from the sounds of it. Yeah, uh, 100 at 8. And uh, that might switch around. They may they may switch around to go runway 9. -er. Um, but anyway, it's just, it's just nasty all the way up uh, overcast 1200. You know, so we're going to go ahead... Normally we do these events VFR, but we're going to go ahead and go IFR and uh, try to shoot some real world weather. There's icing and all that fun stuff, rain and, um, but yeah, we're going to just test ourselves. We'll be coming in on the, uh, it's the Cedar Lake nine arrival. So over snow Hill to sea isle to Cedar Lake and on in, and then we'll figure out again, what, uh, what uh, runway we're using but uh, we will ch be challenging ourselves a little bit tonight because we're just using the Sperry autopilot as well as some hand flying and so it's it could be it could be interesting here but uh, yeah that's we're gonna we're gonna attempt this so welcome happy to see you it's a little bit of an early time for me so I'm not sure who all is going to be here but that's okay too all right let's get this thing ready to go Parking brake is set. I've got the I'm gonna open up the hydraulic and let's get some uh pressure here. Should work. Let us get those things opened up. All right, very good. 
Very good. Uh, flight controls. We just did a test flight, so we should be just fine here. Everything should be good to go. Um, we are going to go to... Let's see. The battery cart. And... Let's go ahead and get the uh, position lights on here. And... Turn some uh, lighting on. I have the the time set actually for about uh, about one o'clock in the afternoon so yeah but so you can see how dark it, it is even even at that uh, i'm hoping once we get up over nine or thousand maybe it'll clear up just a little bit but we're gonna we'll have to wait and see okay we've got uh, ground power on let's get our camera reset here go full forward with the props Auto rich with the uh, mixtures and crack the throttles. We'll go ahead and get our battery going on uh, our own accord here. And yeah, let's just come down here. Let's make sure we've got fuel. I, I have left the fuel as is, which is about 50% which um, is actually about twice the amount of fuel that we need. But um, I figured just in case, the weather here is uh, is pretty wicked right now. And so, you know, it's possible we might need to... Uh, why is that going to the left main? There we go. We may need to divert to someplace a long ways away. So, uh, and as I showed in the Sky Vector map, like it's a long way to anywhere that is not a blue dot so i i left i left twice as much fuel in as we needed um all right everything is set and good let's make sure that we are on all right beautiful we'll start the uh, left hand side first let's energize here Couldn't get my uh, view out there fast enough, but that looks good. Coming down here, we got some oil pressure. That's the main thing. RPMs coming up, manifold pressure coming up, and the temps will slowly come up as well here. Good deal. Good deal. So I am a little worried also, not only with the navigation today, but I'm worried a little bit about the de-icing. And I want to, <laughs> this is, uh, this could be interesting here if we start taking on ice. There's limited heaters and things that uh, help out, but we're going to have to wait and see. There we go. Now she's starting to really, really catch. That looks good. All right. Awesome. Looks and sounds good. I don't know how well you guys can, can hear, but. Hopefully you can hear that coming across. Mr. Pump off. Jen Yon. Hi, Iowa Scotsman. And we can we can get rid of the battery cart here and come on over to uh, number one. Excuse me, number two, the uh, right hand side. Didn't catch. Sometimes, oh, wait, wait, I might have lied. Might have lied. We may be going. We may be going. Oh, 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 yeah, well, actually, all right, it did catch. It just was really quiet. 
she's she's nah, she didn't not quite dang it all right we'll try that again sometimes these things happen booster pump good all right energizer nope energizer first oh gosh i forgot to put the <laughs> i forgot to put the mags on that got it yeah it doesn't work very well if you don't have the magnetos going There we go. There we go. All right, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Let's take a look. Yep, uh, light off. Oil pressure's coming up. RPM's coming up. <clears throat> Manifold pressure looks good. Fuel pressure looks good. Tips uh, on the left-hand side look great. Herb's a little cold, but that's okay. She'll warm up as we get going. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we've got uh, full ATC, by the way, which is kind of cool. I think it's uh, New York Center that's providing coverage. Now, I may be just a hair outside of where they're at. <clears throat> nope, DC is where I'm at. DC, where am I? I'm in this area here. I can't see my aircraft. <laughs> it's... It's a, a wash in the purple, but um, yeah, let's put this in here. So I'll be uh, I'll be contacting Washington Center to get my clearance, and I'm going to add my Simbri flight plan. And there I am. All right, cool. So yeah, right up through the muck here, guys and gals. Oh, so it is. Uh, it's Washington and combination of Washington and New York and yeah even uh, well shoot Washington New York anyway but that's who we'll talk to and we'll get uh, we'll get her going here that everything is looking and sounding happy there so love that Ron how are you doing man happy Saturday okay let's get the booster pump off let's get the Jenny on I'm going to take some cockpit lighting and some cabin. Ah, you know what? I don't need the cabin lighting. But we'll uh, come over here. Let's get the avionics on. We're about to move, so I'll turn the beacon light on here as well. And Washington Center is on 33. 725. All right, doing good. Good to hear it. Good to hear, man. Washington Center, Spirit Wing, eleven eighty-five on the ground at Richmond with the weather. I first mentioned Tampa. Washington Center may be a little quiet right now. Washington, good afternoon. On with 3763, uh, we're coming in from the south on a 6514 code, uh, about uh, 450 east of Sharp. On board 3763, Washington Center, radar contact. I'm making 207, Washington. I take us a minute here. Washington Center, Spirit 320. I'm just about to reach the top of the fence. Where are you going? Uh, I'll fill it up here on the Roger, stand by. Spirit 320, cross Heckman, and maintain 9000. Fill it up here on 2988. Can you repeat? I can't hear you, sir. Can you repeat for Spirit 320? 
I'm gonna go ahead and get FedEx 155, continue your approach 13.55. Some weather here. We've got uh, 170 at Niner, gusting 16, and 2974. Experience 320, Hangman 9000. Cross Hangman 9000 for Spirit 320. Pretty close right there, I think. Washington, Air France, on the ground at Uh-oh. Blocked. Blocky, blocky. Air France, 291, First place we're going to is, hopefully, Cape Charles VOR. 112.2. No problem at all. Appreciate you. 1260. And Center November 11816 uh, on the ground. Langley IFR to Newcastle. All stations requesting clearance expect to late workload. There are at least three, six aircraft waiting for clearance. Sounds good. Just want to get in the queue, baby. Uh, 12-2. All right. 12-2. I'm, uh, There we go. Got to get as much set up, I guess, ahead of time here. And the hard part about this is um, this this guy is working the entire, the entire sector himself here. So that is a big challenge to try to coordinate everything. I guess there is Potomac approach here, so that helps a bit. But you still are covering Raleigh. Um, now, well, Philly, I guess, has some, some help, but uh, there's a bunch of air, airports throughout here um, that you've got to take care of as well. So, And I, I'm i at Langley, which is a towered field, so I couldn't. Yeah, Charlie, 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 I don't know, there's uh, six of us. First aircraft request a clearance, say course sign only. Good lord. The airport. Good lord. Frontier flight 747 at Norfolk, Kilo, Alaska, Romeo, Foxtrot. Roger, stand by. Anyway, it's going to be tough. It might take us a minute, that's okay. Frontier flight 747, cleared, no, cleared Orlando. Kiss on 3D departure rate of a 2,500 and fire. heat on. As long as we're here. All right, Frontier Flight 747, clear to the Atlanta Airport. Via and we can do a little bit of uh, taxi briefing and departure briefing as well. Frontier Flight 747, lead back correct. Push and start entry discretion. Corporate taxi expect to me two three for departure. No four guard to me to two nine seven six. Okay, and we are runway two six Next is. Next aircraft requesting uh, clearance. Go ahead. Course sign at airport. Airwings eleven eighty five at Richmond. All right, so yeah, because the winds right now are one nine or zero, so two six is a slightly better option. So I think what we'll do is uh, just plan on taxiing Alpha uh, all the way up here to two six, and that'll be our departure. Delta nineteen twenty Washington Center, climb maintain flight level four zero zero. Climb four zero zero. I think if we hang a hard right, we'll stay away from the Newport News area here but uh, maybe to be safe we'll just for we safe we'll just turn make a left hand turn out here to uh, November, Cape Charles Papa, contact, below the pure approach, 128.4 oh, 128.4 November 6 January Papa, good job I'm going to estimate about a 060 heading on that by the way so let's just we'll get that set right now as well Nine or eight, Papa. That was our friend Smitty. <laughs> He's one of the virtually USA Flying Club guys. Washington Center, Jet Blue, twenty-two eighty-three, flight level three six zero, headed off the ball. Jet 
I got the handoff from Boston, flight level 360. Hello. So this is a little bit of a little bit of an upgrade from the default. This is a, something off the TO here. Over Unicom, United 2623. Kind of hoping I'd have a little bit nicer day so I could show you guys, but Delta 2321, could you please repeat that? All right, sorry, Delta 321, could you please repeat that? United 1819, expect our Neptune to approach at 10 yeah. ESL. Report by miles from ESL. All right, expect uh, our Neptune 223 right. Expect five miles from ESL, United 1819. And Jeffrey 1198, expect our Neptune 223 right approach at but, uh, report by miles from but. Expect RNAV Zulu approach for runway 23 right. Uh, by got this, case, could, could we get the ILS runway 23 right? Uh, this runway's closed off a little bit here, it looks like. Kind of that classic uh, United, Christian military United airport, United though, with the triangular right shaped right runway uh, configuration. Uh, and here's another runway right that's approach. closed uh, down. I'll call you five from Bucks, Looks uh, like they're just uh, sort of using this Delta main this main runway that we're on right now. Delta 321 but, uh, moving yeah, to 122.8. Good, good to have a, an airport out here to fly some military. Uh, Raleigh, at Raleigh Durham, looking to push on to a uh, Fox shot. United 591, push and start to this crash in corporate taxi. Expect me to see your right for departure. Call for taxi, 2 3 right for departure, uh, 591. November 861, Delta Fox, run you on. Look at this big boy. 2943 level, flight level uh, 100. American 2943, Washington Center, climb 18, flight 16. Big old C 17. Climate safe level 360, American. All right, is this a C 17? Big old boy. <laughs> You've been modeled kind of the interior of it. That's cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Washington Center, nice. <laughs> just, that's just a static airplane. Don't see that very often. All right, cool. All right, well, we'll, we'll be plenty warm, that's for sure. Once we, uh, once we do get going. He said there were six people waiting. I've heard him clear too, so I don't feel like uh, hopping in right now. But we'll just kind of wait till he's. To where he's back to being able to do some clearances. Sometimes you just got to play the waiting game. Number 360, Tenora Park Contact, Potomac Approach, 119.85. May mean we need to refill our beverage before we get going, though. Number 5 from Ethel United 18. United 1819 at ASR, clear down Neptune, let me 2 3 left approach. Alright, and uh, are we doing RNF 2 3 right or 2 3 left, United 1819? United 1819, let me 2 3 left. Alright, sorry, can we have 2 3 right? I'm going to hop over to the uh, Virtual USA uh, Flying Club United voice discard. Roger, you might expect delays, but I'll work on it. Okay, now we'll take 2 3 left, United 1819. Senate Jet Blue 1198, Bucks, 2 3 left. Arnav Zulu 2 3 left, United 18 Senate Jet Blue 1198, about 5 and Bucks. Jet Blue 1198, at Bucks, clear the ILS, my 2 3 right approach, maintain speed 180. 
Head boats cleared out of the 2 3 right, maintained 180 knots, ship a little above 98, appreciate it. Not much chatter going on in the uh, Virtual USA Flying Club Discord channel either. Washington Fair, hello, America. I think there's just a bunch of guys that are kind of monitoring just in case there's questions. But, uh. South of the Plastic Dior. And I should have, uh. I kind of feel like I should have started maybe in New York. Although, I don't know. It's. Okay, you advise yeah, you want to uh, climb to 350, is that correct? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we'll abandon the we'll give it a little bit. climb to flight level 350, American 2330. American 2332, I can see that you were descending. Roger. Descend via Ardham 4 arrival, landing southwest, Tel Aviv, Artemis 2964. Alright, I'll go to southwest 2994, American 2332. Amboy 3763, December Cap Street, arrival landing north, Richmond, Artemis 2967. 2967, we'll descend via Cap Street, arrival landing north, in Envoy 3763. Center United 412, uh, direct Riggins, climbing 1777. Come from United 412. Affirmative, United 412. United 412, Washington Center, climbing 18 flight with 210. I maintain flight level 210, United 412. Washington Center, United 219, with you. We are here at 50,000 feet. Station calling, say again, call sign only. United 1019. United 1019, Washington Center, climb 18, 17,000. Climb 18, 17,000, United 1019. Jeffrey 25, stage 4, with you passing at 11,000 feet for flight level 190. Jeffrey 1198, traffic, travel clock, United. Uh, 5,300 southwest bound and descending. Not inside, uh, 2554. Come from not inside. Hey, for, we are in Haver okay. South. Roger. United 18 and 19, maintain 180 to 5 miles final. 180 to 5 miles final, United 1819. And United 1198, maintain 170 to 5 miles final. Calling on Little Brook. Number 618 Bravo, contact Potomac Approach 119.85. Well, if they clear him, I'm going to jump back in here. Bravo, Potomac Approach 119.85. 119.85, never mind. Six minutes, Bravo. Air France 691, contact New York Center 125.32. Jeffrey 1123, leaving Myers Space Jacksonville offline with the service terminated, frequency change approved. Frequency change approved, uh, uh, Jeffrey 1123. Frontier Flight 747, we're in taxi in orbit, we take Charlie. Frontier Flight 747, let me choose three taxi via Charlie. Good to be Charlie, Frontier Flight 747, thank you. Center, Spirit Wings 1185. Spirit Wings 1185. He's the guy waiting. Uh, any, uh, update on the, uh, He's saying the same thing I'm thinking. <laughs> Turing 1185, contact Potomac Departure 119.85. I wonder if we're going to have a little, uh, our, we've lost, we're, we're down here, we won't be a uh, departure. Turing 1025, Washington Senate, climb 18, fly with 340. Unrestricted. Spring 320 contact, blood up here approach 128.4. 128.4, 3.20. And center November 11816. November 11816. Uh, yes, sir, on the ground, Langley. I just want to make sure we're in the queue for IFR clearance up to uh, 
up to uh, Newcastle. Three in the queue, stand by. Uh, if I don't keep a clearance in five minutes, call me back. And United 18 and 19, Lolly wind 199. Right. Clear to land. We're, we're closer. Land, we were six Thanks. back a minute ago. <laughs> Jeopardy 1198. I think I gave you two three right, but looks like you're on two three left. Stay in tension. But having this uh, uh, yeah, Potomac is going to help out. We're going back to two three right now. We're Jeopardy 1198. A little bit here, so. Jeopardy 1198. Roger. Thank you. All right. Flat level 254, can we climb any higher than flat level 190? Jeffrey 1198, wind 199, runway 23, left clear to land. We can do five Traffic more minutes. United, seven miles final power runway. Traffic, uh, on peak gas and runway 23, right clear to land, Jeffrey 1198. Station requesting higher saving course sign. Jeffrey 2554. Jeffrey 2554, for Washington Center, climb 18, flag 350. Traffic five zero twenty five sixty four. Traffic up in under eight twenty three. Currently at three seven zero. Doctor one, question eight twenty three, Washington Center. Hello. Uh, hello. Washington Center, United twenty one fifty six, entering your airspace, descending on the Gibbs for arrival into Dulles. I would expect there's a lot of traffic also in uh, in this area due to the fact that there are so many storms and all of us sim pilots we enjoy trying to test ourselves in the storms don't we well you wouldn't you would not leave a plane like this just running i know that but that's okay we're all right. Freedom 5, Southwest 2697. Departure flight 747, hold like sure, running by, or correction, 2 3 ready for departure. Departure flight 747, wind 17, one gust 19, let me 2 3, clear for <coughs> takeoff, fly, let me heading. Run heading, clear for takeoff, 2 3, Frontier flight 747. Subsonic, what's going on? Southwest 823, could we tell us on the flight desk for about 5 minutes? Approved. Freshly installed orthos. Very nice, my friend. November 11811. Here we go, guys. Radar vectors, Maintain 3000, squawk 2447. Maintain 3000, squawk 2447. November 11816. November 11816. Correct. Push and start. Should discretion advise to protect. Expect to be for departure. We'll call you for taxi expecting 261816. Alright, baby. There we go. Okay, 2447. <clears throat> we are getting closer. We are getting closer. At, at some point you had 15 terabytes. Oh, dude. It happened so fast, right? It's like one minute you're on FSX and the next minute you have 15 terabytes of X-Plane Ortho. <laughs> uh, what was I doing here? Envoy 3763, contact Potomac Approach 119.85. Uh, I got to run through the rest of my flows and make sure that I'm good to go here. All right. Pressures, temps are checked, radios, navs are set, heaters are on. The only thing left to do is to turn the uh, Pedo on when we get down at the end of the runway. All right, we do know where we're going. Cape Charles is where we're headed. 58 nautical miles. We are. We're slant Zulu today. We we can track a uh, we can track a radio. We just don't have a DME, even though there's a DME switch up here. It doesn't do anything. So I don't I don't know. I think this is just to uh, potentially listen to the Morse code, but uh, Washington Center, one eighty-two at one six sixteen thousand. All right, we're squawking Charlie, and United four twelve. The brand one is arrival. Okay, we're ready to go there. <laughs> uh, Class Rudy at one three thousand. 
Let up here on terminal 2999, question 2988. Cross Rudy at the 13000, and uh, say again about the ground one arrival, uh, United 412. United 412, that arrival is for the trouble from aircraft only. The appropriate one would be the um, Speedable 8, question Speedable 3. Okay, uh, we can uh, reprogram that or keep it just close to United 412. United 412, just keep the brand one. Subsonic, I enjoy listening to um, the, I don't know if you've been checking on this, but Oscar's been working on an update for uh, Ortho for XP for XP-12, so that's going to be kind of exciting. It's been fun to, fun to keep tabs on that. And November 11816 at Langley, ready for taxi. November 11816, let me 26 taxi via Alpha. 26 via Alpha, 11816. Yeah, I mean, right now, of course, the, you know, the, uh, the X-Plane 11 stuff still does Watch work nicely, but, uh, it, it will be cool to see what he comes up with in terms of trying to integrate it in with all the tools of X-Plane 12. But, uh, right, left on Charlie. You saw the uh, barometric preview video. I haven't seen that yet. Pretty nice, huh? It's going to screw all those people up that have auto ortho right now, though. That's all I know. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it sounds like the 737 is getting close, so that's that's progress, because I know he's been focusing on that once that's in, and uh, yeah, I'm with you. I would love that, love that 727 to uh, be ready to go. All right, let's take a little look here as we buzz by the different military aircraft here. Quantum Huts. Very nice, very nice. Send, uh... Whoops. Oh, wait, oh, where are we going? Where are we going? What's going on? What's the... What just happened? So I'm reading. <laughs> I'm reading. I'm going to Washington Central, let me to see right You'll send uh, me in Discord later. Alright, sounds good. Station directing Baltimore, taking course line only. CARE 549, KPR 549. KPR 549, Washington Center, climb main team, fly with 310. Up to 310, KPR Yeah, I was going uh, plenty faster, I guess, wasn't I? <laughs> Alright, let's get here. Let's make sure everything is ready to go. American 207, Cross Hawks flight at the main team flight level 190. One notch flaps. Carpets full forward. Let's get the booster pumps on. And November 11816, holding short 26, ready for departure. November 11816, wind 190 is 13, gust 18, let me 26, clear for takeoff, fly on me heading. 26, clear for takeoff, runway heading, November 11816. Robart, hey man. Can't gain access to your product key to use FSX. It was on one of your older computers. Oh man, that bites. All right, two three right, clear for takeoff. I have a few. Uh, I have a few uh, aircraft that are also like that. All right, we've got gusty winds and their crosswinds here, kind of coming from our uh, left-hand side. So you saw what it just about did to us there a second ago. All right. So if I want this runway heading, let me uh, let me spin this around and get it matched up here. Uh oh, what do I need to do? 
you know what? I think I'll just leave that right there. That'll be ready when we uh, slap the autopilot on. All right. Um, landing lights on. Everything's on here. Heato heat. Booster pumps. Let's do this here. We're looking for uh, 85 to 90. Southwest 14, Let's Washington. Let's go 46. Columbia, east, Baltimore, Take off our set. See if we can keep from. Oh, uh, that's what I was worried about. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow, we just about. We aren't out of it yet. Come on, girl. Oh boy, that was uh, some crosswind. Holy cow. Alright. Positive ish rate. Away we go. Climb and maintain 3,000 is what he told us. We will try to do that. Delta, uh, Bring the flaps up. I'm making 2332. Didn't do a very good job of holding the runway heading there, did I? I will expect the uh, ILS 23 right, uh, 2964. We do have information in there. Can... I'm making 2332, thank you, report 5 miles from Buttons. Uh, report 5 from Buttons, America 2332. Alright. I'm making 1260, radar contact, proceed direct to Mexico. There's 1000. Into the soup we go. Alright, crossing 4500, direct Mexico, and flight level 370. Thank you so much for 1260. United 4 Trap, contact the letter of your approach, 128.4. Try to hold that runway heading a little bit uh, better than we are. Subsonic, hey. Oh, wait, Mike Stein. What's going on? United 1019, contact New York approach. Question New York Center, 125. Sorry, guys, I'm a little, little preoccupied here. Let me, let me get. I kind of drifted a little bit off of uh, runway headings. I'm trying to get back to about 26. Zero. Can. Which aircraft sounds exactly like the DC-3, the uh, Catalina, really? I've never heard of DC-3 in real life, so I'll have to take your word for that. You couldn't fly in this anyway? Oh, come on. M. Stein? You could just adjust that weather and be just fine, buddy. We're currently just doing instrument stuff here. We've got to get up to 3,000. We're trying to fly 260, which we're doing okay now. We kind of are back on it. He's really taking us down a long way here. Oh, that's the Oscar Pilate, Pilate uh, demo. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Hey, Just Huggy. Oh, yes, I love this plane. Welcome in. First time chat from uh, Just Huggy. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, there's 3,000. Oh, I just blew right by it. Darn it. Just trim it out here and recapture. We're a little off. Now we're 270 instead of 260. Southwest 14, contact Potomac approach 119.85. Well, he must be going to take me all the way around to the west of uh, Newport News. So Drobart's saying it's because they both have the same uh, Pratt and Whispy, Pratt, Pratt and Whispy, Pratt and Whitney twin, twin uh, Wasp engines. Oh, really? 
Delta B-1077, this will be a prop to arrive for below the PR 22986. Very cool. Well, I'm not passing my check right here, am I? I'm, I'm 200 over my altitude. I'm not holding my heading. Ugh. I need to do this more. Now look at me drop it. November 11816, radar contact, say altitude. Yeah, 11816 at 3000. Number 11816, proceed, direct Cape Charles, resume navigation, climb 1890. Direct Cape Charles, resume own, own nav and up to 9000, 11816. All right, well, he sent us a, one heck of a long way to the uh, to the west. I was I was going to make a left and kind of go back around that way, but I think what we'll do is this. I'm o almost over speeding here. I was way up to 2,000. I don't need to be doing that. I'm going to try to get on the climb again here, and we're just going to make a gentle right-hand turn. Until we get all the way around to about a 060 heading. It does look like I've got my Cape Charles VOR. So actually I'm just going to come around till that guy's pointing straight up. And then we'll lock in our heading off of that. And we'll start our uh, we'll start our trip up the coast. Scenic. It's going to be really scenic today, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> And they are also um, close to each other due to the aircraft design. Those Catalinas are cool, no doubt about that. How you doing, Drobart? How's your weekend been so far? Come on, climb, baby, climb, baby, trim, trim, trim. Hey, holy cow! Fly seventy-seven, Tom. Thank you, man. Two. Uh, excuse me, a four-month uh, reinscription. Thank you, sir. Uh, very, very nice to see you. And look, just just for you, Tom, we're getting a little bit of a breakout here. Look at that. Ah, hey, that's kind of cool. Hope you're having a good weekend. All right, so there we go. We're 060. That's actually pretty close to our VOR. Um, what I'm going to try to do here, guys, this is always a bit of a task for a, a single pilot, but we're going to do that. And we're going to do, oh gosh, the uh, autopilot was already left on from the, whoever the last crew was, wasn't me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's get this thing going here. Um, we'll uh, track 060 and we'll just uh, uh, let, our, uh, let our climb continue here. <laughs> uh, well, about five to five hundred to a thousand feet a minute is all I'm going to try to do here and uh, that should keep our airspeed happy. Mustafa is coming in. What's up Moose and the Dysfunction Junction crew. Hello and JPC. JPC this is history my dude. You are the first the first guy to have a 50 month reascription. Thank you very, very much. A Mountain Dew. I, I even went to Mountain Dew today. I didn't have my typical Diet Dr. Pepper. Mountain Dew toast in the Virtual USA Flying Club mug. Thank you so very much, my friend. And uh, you guys are awesome. You guys are a reascription. That's right. Jedi 18, four miles from That's the, the junior first officer says, thanks for ascribing. And so that's this naturally a reascription. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> Halo, what's going on? Great to see you. And the Moose Raid, yes indeed, yes indeed. Toa Sampa, yes sir. All right, see so now we're slipping off of that. Slipping off of that just a little bit. So let's uh, let's do a little bit of a 
Oops, I'm gonna go a little more eastbound um, here. And we're on our climb up. We're looking for nine or thousand here. So welcome guys. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Welcome to the Melvin Leroy channel. My name is Brant. We are ooh, we're breaking out. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's just absolutely gorgeous. Um Flying a warbird up to uh, Nancy Harkness Love. Uh-oh, what do we got here? Uh, good job. I, I thought maybe somebody was trying to redeem the uh, the uh, outside view. Yeah, just Huggy, I didn't have MSFS 50 months ago. <laughs> oh, man, it's cool. It is really cool. The uh, engine sound similarities I refer to have to do with their reverbs other than the exhaust location. Oh, you're talking to uh, the Fly 787. So anyway, we're on our way up to Wilmington as a part of the Virtual USA Flying Club's Women in Aviation Day, and we're celebrating Nancy Harkness Love, who was a, who was a military um, ferry pilot, and she flew all kinds of uh, missions, ferrying aircraft, Everything from the P-51 Mustang to the uh, the B-17 Flying Fortress, and holy moly, my friend. Continue. What in the world, my friend? What are you doing? Holy cow. Hello, mate, indeed. I don't have enough Mountain Dew. To toast you, but skull and uh, wow. that's really nice of you. A, a high five gift ascriptions from our friend Continuum. It must be so early in the morning for Conti that he doesn't know he clicked the wrong button or something there. Hello to you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. It's really, really awesome of you. And it uh, bumped up a beautiful hype train here as well. And I'll give you some uh, give you some special bonus emotes. And oh man, M Stein, thanks for the hundred bits. Even my dogs upstairs are happy. <laughs> so here's one of the things that is a little bit of a limit on. Uh, on how we're navigating today so we'll know where we're going we just don't know how far away we are so we are we're using a little bit of ipad help if there's one thing i learned from youtube it's that atc loves it when they when you refer to their i you know, to your ipad when you're navigating so that's what we're going to be doing here but man oh man what do we got going here um i don't even know what level we're on so we're just going to do this one, we got one. Hold on, we got. Uh, we've got uh, two. We got three, four. We got five, and then continuum is six, and uh, seven eight seven is uh, seven. So we got for the first time ever. By the way, this is momentous. We have a fifty month reascription from JPC, and uh, now for the first time ever, we've got a. Uh, We've got the the not only the freight train from the junior first officer, but we have the uh, the cargo train. So there you go. You guys went and did it. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. I greatly appreciate that. And your finger slipped. with <laughs> you. I remember the day. There was a day that somebody did a did a donation. And like accidentally put an extra zero in there or something like that. I'm like, that's something I would do. But uh, let me know if your finger slipped. I will re I will reimburse you, sir, because <laughs> I know you did that for that guy. But uh, anyway, thanks for coming by. Hey, a question for you, Continuum, before you get set up. Um, the uh, the uh, real air. No, I'm sorry, it's not real air. The Beach Duke. The Black Square Beach uh, Duke 60 is that is that an aircraft that you're you're interested in? Are you kind of 
Uh, you saw that sucker was uh, was coming up in April. Is that something that's kind of piqued your interest there? Day one buy for Tom? Yeah, buddy. It was my in FSX and P3D. It, it was it was it was, uh, it was a favorite of mine for sure. So. Uh, do you know how to do a cross radio fix where you're on? You know what? Uh, that's a great idea, Tom. Let me, uh, let me look at my... That's a really good idea, sir. Why didn't I think of that? So how about I go Harkham 1088? That's a great idea. And shoot a 107. That's a great idea. 1088. As soon as you can get your grubby hands on it. Oh, the real air. That that was a that was a team, a developer team that I just thought was awesome. And then of course, I felt horrible. Um, it sounds like the wife passed away or something like that, and he just kind of lost interest, which I totally get it. Okay, um, here's the here's the thing though. Seven eight seven spy or uh, seven eight seven spy. <laughs> Seth, wrong seven hundred. Tom. If I put that in nav two on this on this unit, I'm not 100% sure where it uh, displays. Does it display right here also? All right, level two hype. Thank you so much for the level two hype train, you guys. You are amazing, and. Uh, all right. I don't know. I should show you what radio you are on. So you can spin this guy, right? This is this is the part of this Sperry system I don't understand very well. But all I know is I'm starting to get a little closer here. So what I'm going to try to do is when. On the box for a so I'm, 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 I shouldn't even do this because this is this is me making something I don't understand worse than if I just leave it alone. Southwest 4698 Washington Center climbing to flight before 400. 400, Southwest 4698. Okay. Series at 1815 checking in. So I feel like level, when this is zero for flight level 380. When this is off of our what do we do? Harkham. 107. Outbound, which is... Uh, Thank you. All right, which is two... Wait, three... Good afternoon. 107. Yeah, see, I, I don't know. Like, I'm feeling like when these guys are about perpendicular is when we are approximately over that VOR. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Approved. Put it back to north, okay. So I think we're I think we're blowing by the uh, there's the there's the Cape Charles VR. I think we're blowing by that. All right. We're going to we're going to put this back to north. DC Center Southwest 1090 passing 14000 for Southwest 1090, right. I'm going to do this too. I I feel like I need to get turned and head northbound here a little bit. Oops. Because I've been going eastbound for quite a while. So I'm going to turn kind of and start to mellow this out. And with any luck, this should be if I'm if I'm tracking away, this should be pointing right at my. Now pull up the chart, okay. I love having these uh, real world pilots in there that can help me out. I think we're up here now. I think we're above it, right? But I was trying to get this 290 to match up with this. Um, let's see, this uh, 058. Which is a 238. Ooh, I'm through. Hold on, I gotta do something real fast here, guys. I'm, I'm over my altitude.
just went over my filed altitude here. Only by a thousand feet. Oh my gosh. That's really bad. And I'm not in uh, cruise power as well, and I'm not. In trail. All right, I gotta check all my all my temps. Man, my things are cold. Those are okay though. November one one eight one six confirm cruise altitude. Yeah, we're we overshot that. We're on our way back down to nine thousand one one eight one six. Sorry about that. Uh, no worries, thank you. <laughs> well, it's a little bit of a worry because I'm on the wrong way for ten thousand, but. Uh, all right. Don't do two things at once, kids. That's the main the main idea here. All right, we'll just descend gently here, gently, 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 and then we'll uh, we'll start to look. I, so we're we're kind of tracking away, but I think I'm getting a little too far oh, out over the over the uh, course. Oh, that's okay. It's <laughs> okay, Tom. You you didn't. So yeah, I I feel like I'm out here now. So let's so let's look at so I tell you what I'm gonna do first. Let me let me do this first. Let me go to Snow Hill. Let me get track and direct Snow Hill on 12:4, and then Tom, I am ready. I'm ready for my lesson because I clearly I clearly need one. 112.4. In the in the uh, Arrowworks one. I can do it piece of cake because it's got a DME, but this one is a little bit. Oh yeah, see, so we need to turn. We need to be heading a little bit more. Um, yeah, we need to turn actually a little bit further out than I thought here. So ah, wrong way. Let's just get a little bit of a turn here. Let's uh, let's track about zero about zero three zero that should be good Let's see how close that gets us all right all right uh -huh. well it so so drobart i do have the moving map with the navigraph going but i'm trying to uh <laughs> i'm trying to see if i can if I can really do it like slant alpha slant Zulu style here so um, yeah if if worse comes to worst then I'll go back I've got the, the navigraph going so all right so we're heading we're headed direct snow hill I feel like we're probably out here a little bit farther but maybe not we're, we're somewhere in this area and uh, yes. November four one two one Charlie ident I may not be able to do this, guys. I might have to. Uh, I might have to. Uh, let's climb slightly to get to nine or thousand. How these old pilots? <laughs> how these old pilots did it, man! I tell you what, my hats are off to them because it is a it is a high workload. All right, here we go. Back up to uh, back up to niner. It is kind of nice to pop out the clouds every once in a while, though. I'll tell you that right now. DC Center, Delta 469, out flight level 350. That's where the Almost. Yeah, that's close enough. 500, we're 100 feet off. All right, so now, okay. 787, I'm ready, man. Correct, that was Delta 4669, out flight level 350. Up so were two of them. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Don't go bothering along with 400. November four, one, two, one, they did go bombing Charlie, along at 400 knots eight. the whole time. Right turn. Okay. Um, so one, it looks like I've got a Salisbury VOR here that I could cross reference off of, right? Continental 392, Washington Center. Hello. And seven JetBlue's 1483. Lots of work, but great fun. So what I'm hoping... Yeah, I'm just wonder if uh, uh, we're leaving airspace. So I should be able to set 111.2 in NAV2. And then I need to be able to set this uh, a radial outbound 185. 
So let me let me see if I'm able to do that. One eleven two. We're pretty close to where we need to be. Top Here is Nav two one eleven two. That was Delta four six nine, correct? Southwest okay. four six nine speed. All right, that, so that is tracking. That's that's this guy. Uh, we're not quite going to towards Snow Hill either, so I should uh, adjust that just a bit. Southwest ten ninety maintain speed three zero zero less due to sequencing and on transition maintain mark point seven. Let's go about five more degrees that way. It's a real life H M Murdoch. And what was the the mark for transition again? seven seven or less. Flying the B-18 single pilot, man. Holy cow. That is, uh, that's, that's legendary. Okay, so, back to the original question, though. How do I set, how do I set That's why you're deaf. <laughs> how do I set let me pull up my. Uh, I've got this tune, but how do I set something, some kind of reference to um, either 001 outbound off Snow Hill or 185 inbound off of uh, off of Ocean City? There, how do I do that? That's the question. That is the question. Look at the tail of look at the tail of needle number two. So this guy right here, yep, gotcha. That's where you set the radio where you want nav one. All right, so this, so you're saying, uh, spin this guy around. You want, so you want this guy to be. So I want zero zero one all the way down here. No, I want. Oh, don't spin. Oh boy. All right, I'm not. I'm getting. I'm lined back up again. Correspond with the OBS needle. Is that this guy? I don't know what which OBS needle you're talking about. Spearing eleven seventy five. The right one. Okay, so now, so I want to spin this guy. Okay. So I want him, I want this end of this needle to be at the 185. Is that what you're telling me? Like that? Is that what you're telling me? So this one corresponds to my nav one, and this corresponds to, is that, am I there? Pentagon, hey, Pentagon, what's going on? I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to get us lost. Right over you, Nikon, 185 needs to be on the top. Delta 323, you are leaving my space, but New York is not doing some Volanta stocking. I was over in Africa this morning. That was fun. So this 185 needs to be on top. Okay. Coming around. Coming around. Washington Center, Jet Blue 2283, request to send flight level 240. Separate report 23, contact New York Central 125.32. Order New York 12532, Jet Blue 423, thank right. you. Does 185 need to be at the top, lined up with this little guy here, or lined up with this needle? And who is requesting to send? Jet Blue 2283. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, again, I should try to, if I could, I should try to at least go to that snow hill. Right in the middle. Oh, okay. All right. So you got this little reference mark here. So 185 should be, there's 185 right there. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's keep the turn going here. 
until I'm tracking right direct. Here's the problem is I've been farting around so long that I might be... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm getting really close. Oh, in fact, I peaked. I am. I'm getting really close. So here's where I'm at. I, at least I'm not far off. I mean, I'm in the neighborhood, but... All right, we'll try it again. So we'll get past Snow Hill. I will tune in Sea Isle, and then we can use Sea Isle and, like, Dover. We can use those two to try to cross-reference. If that doesn't work, then I'm just going to cheat and use the... Uh, I'm going to fly the old iPad 1 arrival, if you know what I mean. I'll see the needles go to center. Okay, cool. So this is gonna. This one will actually swing to the right because I'm passing by. I'm passing by that VOR right now, and then this guy here should center up. Is what you're saying? I see. I see. Go ahead for American 2016. Thanks for the help, by the way, you guys. Appreciate that. Uh-oh. Why is this guy running away? So here's where I'm at, right? This is this is Snow Hill. Whoops. And I am definitely it's passing me on my right, so that doesn't surprise me, but I thought this should be this should be pointing. I don't know. Maybe it'll come around. We're just gonna we're gonna leave it here and just see what it does. Better make sure I'm doing okay with everything else here. Yep, I'm doing okay. Okay, so we're past. We're past Snow Hill. Um... Uh, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like my, uh, Salisbury needle is moving. Looks like it's just kind of locked in. Shouldn't it be pointing? Washington Center, radar contact, proceed direct to Mexico. Lisa, my navigation, climb, maintain, fly with two, three. I don't know. I don't know. Direct Mexico, fly level two, three, zero, blue street, 55, 89. I don't know. You guys, I'm going to have to practice that. I've never done that before, so that really does interest me. But I just am not quite getting it. Something's missing here, but that's all right. I was clearly not, uh, not prepared. Yeah, I'm in the middle of it right now. <laughs> what happened? Malfunction here on it. You know, I didn't know exactly. Just turn the knob. I wanted to fly. Until the so needle like, starts to move, that way you know your deviation. All right, well, first thing oh, I'm going to do is this. Is I'm going to go off of... So, if, if I want to go outbound off of off of NAV-1, I want to go outbound 004. Rudimentary VOR NAV. It did have a DME. Uh, uh, boom. And, uh, you know, a That's where I'm at. That's pretty much how we flew today. DME and a Bible? DME in a Bible. <laughs> a prayer. That sounds like what I'm doing. <laughs> I love it. A DME no in pilot. a Bible. I mean, I'm dark. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm going to turn now. Or am I? Why am I not turning? I must have, uh, must have clicked something. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Why are we not turning? Uh oh, this is not good. United three fifteen Washington Center, Squawk three six six seven. 
Now we're just stuck on this uh, 040 zero zero heading. Ah, boy. What if I'm icing up and can't turn? That, wouldn't that be something? Um, did that get turned off? No, that's still on. Did that get bumped off? No, that's still on. You know, I hear the rain. I'm like, it's probably not that bad of an eye mm. part condition. Boy, was I mistaken. Oh, boy. All right, let's like try fun. that again. <laughs> Engaged. And, all right, we're on course right now. Let's let me double check here. Yep. That's zero. I'm a little off. Maybe I'm, my, uh, my white compass is saying about zero five five. So maybe I should. Yeah, it put me on a two one zero heading, which you know this plane wants to veer right, veer left. Oh, this is American eight fifty five. We're at flight level three. And all of a sudden, I hit a thing at the and I start. I lost vertical speed, and my vertical speed just dropped. I dropped like a thousand feet and. Like a, a couple seconds. It was crazy. Delta, six, and I'm not, holding, I'm not uh, turning now. I'm not. Uh, uh, this could be a a significantly one, more challenging if I've got a hand fly this bad boy. Delta 607, Washington Center, climb, maintain. But maybe that's a sign. Down. Maybe that's what I need to be doing. Um, yeah, because I'm not sure why all of a sudden we're not responding to uh, what we should be responding to. Delta 607, uh, Roger, I work on it. Hmm. Roger, thanks. Yeah, yeah, 315, we are recently got that platform. United 315, Roger. Yeah, this is weird. Alright, well, we're coming off of autopilot because I'm going to need to get back on course here. So, uh, yeah. Um, I will leave a link in the comments uh, below as to my home address so you know where to send flowers to my wife. And let's get you back. Uh, wait a minute. I want to get the I want to get the Navigraph guy back over here and. Southwest 1090 contact Indy Center 119.55. Okay, am I paused? Did I, oh, I paused. Yeah, I was paused somehow. All right, all right. See now, now we're cooking. So I'm really not that far off course. <laughs> oh man, I feel like an idiot. Right. I I take back everything I said about you. Southwest 3672 Washington Center. Hello. All right, back in business here. And again, I want to track outbound. Now we're turning. Okay, very good. I'm hoping to be on a 004. And I'm hoping here. So I have that set at 004. Yeah, so we. What that means, if I'm interpreting this correctly, is I am a little, a little far past. I've went out to the east a little bit and I'm coming Private back here. Air, so let's see heavy let's see up. if this comes back around as Stop. I track Private my air, uh, heavy. Clear. 004 is going to be about right CD there. You know there's a little light in there. That's kind of cool. Oh boy. The active uh you activate the gyro by pressing the knob above. Yeah, I I had just paused it like an idiot there. So there you go. Okay, now so again we're looking to hopefully pick up. So that guy will swing back around and then we are going to try. Wait, where am I going? Sea Isle, right? contact New York New York Center one two five point three two. 1480. No, I'm not going to Sea Isle yet. I'm, oh, I'm going outbound. That's right. I'm going outbound from Snow Hill towards Sea Isle. Sea Isle's 148. Let me get that set. People that know how to do this in the chat right now are going, no, 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 no. No, you're doing it all wrong, dude. And then we want Dover. Washington, private air 45 here. Clear to Sarasota. 
I didn't get the departure. Nope. Uh, Smyrna. As far as the departure, I'm, I'm going to use Atlantic Smyrna. City. And did you say climb to 2000? Atlantic City 2 departure, ACY 2. No, I could use Dover. Oh, it's coming off of Smyrna. 111.40. Okay, let me get that one set here. And that I want to be... ...293. But that's outbound um, from Seattle, so that would be... Reciprocal of 293. So that'll be what I have here. Delta 607, clear direct Pansy. Clear direct uh, Pansy, Delta 607. Let's see if I can get this guy swung over here. 293's reciprocal. Whoops, there's. 290. Two, three, all right. That'll be the uh, yellow needle when it is time. Yeah, see, I'm doing something. I'm doing something wrong. Keep the compass rose on north. Read the tail of the needle. That's the radio you are crossing at the time. If you take the radio and draw the line from the VR using the radio where you intersect your airway is where you are. So, alright, so you're saying right now, keep this guy at north. So currently I am... So I'm currently intercept, intercepting, I'm outbound on a zero... What direction am I taking off? So if I'm reading this correctly, I'm outbound on a 015 five radial. Is that is that what you're saying? The tail of the needle. Look at the number two needle. Um, oh, and I don't think I'm picking up the VOR yet. I just think it's straight across, so does that... I'm hopeless. <laughs> I'm just hopeless. Okay, I'm cheating a little bit here because I feel like I need to be... Somewhat... I'm drifting off course is what I'm doing here. Let me come up here, let me go... Let's try this again. One more time. Let's go direct to the next one, which is Sea Isle. Am I reading Sea Isle yet? Yes, I am. So, for Sea Isle... All right, so here's what I've got. Here's what I'm attempting to do, Tom. And thank you for your patience. By the way, if you're like, I, I, uh, I, I love learning, but if I'm that student that's making you want to pull your hair out, I totally get it. Totally get it. So right now, trying to go to Sea Isle. I got 14.8. I'm down, you know, um, let me make this big. I'm down in between, somewhere in between Snow Hill and Sea Isles. I have, um, I have Smyrna tuned in. And I'm working off of what I believe will be, it's not going to be exact, but this, I, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty close to the radial that I need. All right. I don't have a lot of hair to pull out. <laughs> if I was, uh, if I was coming 
Whoops. If I was coming directly off of... Um, well, I can't do that. I was going to try to put a, another radial on here. But I think this 293 is getting me pretty close for my, uh, for my second VOR. Okay, so... That's that's what I'm looking at, and here's visually what it looks like, guys. I'm, I have been peeking a little bit because I didn't want to get too far off. So I'm, I'm going direct CIO. That much I can accomplish, but now I have Dover here that I want to cross check, so I know when I'm at the corner. That's what that's what Tom and uh, and Just Huggy have been trying to teach me for the last hour and a half. Okay. So I'm ready, sir. United 4176, you're requesting Duxis 5 arrival. Uh, yeah. Make that small. I want to make sure I'm not. Oh, I'm down to 8,000 now. Crap. Uh, hang on. The Duxis 5 arrival is for the traffic on the south west. But I am climbing east. back up, sure thankfully. Holy moly. Uh, yes, hey, Fixie. Man, I lost a thousand feet there. That was crazy. Ooh, okay. So now I am. Uh, so now I'm seeing this guy. So this guy's moving. So if. So what I should be? Are you? So this is, I think, what you're saying, is when this, whatever, wherever the tail is, is the is the radial that I'm out, off of for nav number two so if i want so 293 is the reciprocal that is uh uh, uh 123 is that right so i'm almost there i'm almost there is that what i'm is that what you're trying to tell me here guys condor 2116 washington center squad 3724 Three seven two four in the box. Uh, Condor two one one six. Crossing one one three. Draw one one three. Yeah, see. And I'm not I'm gonna have a hard time doing that. But one one three. Condor two one one six radar contact two zero miles east of Atlantic City Airport. We take you off. Take the Fox departure off. Here. Are we starting our descent with you or with the next center? Okay. So I'm at a. Uh, uh, I don't remember how to do that. I just cross have Hawks to give myself one new arrival. Center United 1815, can we start our descent on the tackle to arrival? We're not quite there. We're a little south of where we should be. 113. Okay, sorry, I'm just checking my altitude. I'm still low. So 113 should put me. And station calling, go ahead. Um, yeah, you know, that 1815 was one of the first starter tackle to arrive. There's 90. To rally to there's, is that 90? 100. 110. One, so 113 should put me down, kind of right down in here ish, right? Roughly, I'm not officially drawing that line, but that's roughly where it would put me. Yeah, so I'm almost there. I'm almost there. So what I'm hoping to get is, again, I'm hoping to get... Well, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm, I need to get... Oh, no, 113 should put me right on it. Then. So according to that... So according to my... Uh, so I'm past it. I should be past it now, right? Like if that's... I should be uh, at... 100 and... Well, like 100. Oh, man. 
Navigraph doesn't show me quite there yet. So something screwy with that. Because here's the VOR. 113 is right at Sea Isle. Hmm. Hey, you have Geek Central? Yeah. Because it's almost showing that I am at uh, directly due east of it, which, again, is not exactly. Do I have? Yeah, that's set perfectly there. All right, well, I don't know. Like, I feel like now it's. Uh, like, that's not. I, I get what you're telling me, Tom, but I feel like I'm not. I feel like I'm not in the location that I should be based off of that. What if I try Waterloo? Let's uh, let's try Waterloo. That's going to not be a very good. No, let's not try Waterloo. Let's try. I'm at Compute 21. Contact New York Approach 120.8. Cedar Lake. Uh, it keeps it keeps wanting to give me all these uh, all these airways and whatnot. So this should be 174. Cedar Lake is 15.2. Thanks for uh, distracting me from the horrible weather outside. By the way, <laughs> we still got to get ourselves down on the ground here. So, fifteen two. So there we go, and and we're looking for one seventy four outbound. So now, when this guy gets around to one seventy four, I should be. And I'm not quite directly to that. That's probably another factor here. I got to turn a little bit to get right on it. But uh, well, let's let's try that. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, you know what? Did I maybe have a wrong frequency in there? 111.4 was what I had. That maybe that that would nope smeared as 111.4. All right. Yeah. I got all kinds of stuff going on now. Sir, good afternoon, Voyager Perfect. There's there's the flight plan, guys. Two hundred descending one four thousand. Little uh, East Coast Shuffle. Hello. This is the main two nine thousand. At Atlantic City Yard, terminal two nine eight five. Two nine eight five down to nine thousand. Voyager three five. All right. Washington sends a data one eight at nine eight four. Just tapping here. I just put in something I didn't want. All right, where were we? We'll put this back in here. Did I eight copy? Uh, G. We were. Hey, firm, requesting to pick up by for clearance. Copy this guy here. Jedi one eight. Clearance request. Copy. Paste. There we go. I don't know, man. I don't know. Station calling second course only. Dollar forty six. I think I'm just gonna fly, and I'll just use my navigraph. We'll we'll come back to this. Dollar forty six December captain. Part of me is I'm a little. North. Like a little sort of frustrated that it's not working well, but mostly because people are uh, taking lots of time to try to help me. That, that makes me frustrated a little bit. I'm sorry to waste your time, but, um, but I've just I've always just hand flown this, and uh, we've just always we've just always done pilotage, so. Um, it's no surprise. But we'll Do see. Y'all know what runway they're using at Wilmington now that tower, uh, the aid is dropped off. Park to center south with two three eight zero twenty three eighty with you follow three eight zero. I don't. Uh, what did what was being used? I was planning on one, but there's a better headwind on Plus nine, so I just didn't know right what y'all were doing. Same with me. I, I think I'm going to shoot runway nine. Or. 
So there's a VOR approach to runway 9. I have the concept and not sure why it's not working out properly. Well, Tom, thank you for... I mean, I really appreciate it, dude. <laughs> thank you very much for... Uh, or sharing some of your knowledge, man. Do you have a altitude restriction on climb? All right. What haven't I been doing lately? Yeah, I haven't been looking at any of this stuff. Okay, 24. And I was hoping I should have been shooting for about 30... What do I want? 36? Is that you? Eh, about 32, so not too bad. Alright, let's just fly and uh, we'll just see how she shakes out here. Alright, we're. I think we're moving past the VOR because this first needle is really moving. And now this guy is not coming around like we thought. So it's weird. Like, as you get close to the VOR that you're crossing, this needle just kind of stops. It's really interesting. Well, thank you all for coming to the event today, making it successful. I got to dip out. Hope you had a good time. I'm going to turn. Oh, yeah, That's great. Thanks for hosting. I'm going to turn. United Only because I'm looking. I gotta turn. Might just start to hand fly, honestly. I'm gonna chase the uh, Cedar Lake BOR 15 2. Okay. Lost a little altitude there. Washington Center, hello. Okay, guys, I I am gonna I'm gonna try to get myself headed to the uh, VOR and then I'm gonna pull up the. We'll pull up the arrival here. Let's, we haven't really briefed anything. And yes, I'm, I'm going to be using this to kind of help myself out here. Uh, but let's just make sure. So we obviously aren't going to try to hit the turbojet, um, you know, numbers here. But we're trying to sort of fly this heading. Or I, I could have the, stop, the stopwatch going, I guess. But once we get to Cedar Lake, we're going to turn... Uh, 301 here to uh, Woodson, and then we're going to expect radar vectors from there. Now, we were, you just heard me talking to uh, one of the other pilots, and they are thinking Runway Niner is the better choice, and I agree because the weather right now is the winds are 070 at 7. Five statute miles, it's raining, there's a uh, mist, it's overcast at 400. Oh, good lord wow. almighty. This is going to be... Uh, just think, uh, <laughs> we are passing 3,500. Uh, I, okay, so I feel like I can set a 094 inbound okay, heading two, to two, this, two, this um, from the two, six, ILS frequency. Four. One one fourteen zero. We're gonna find that out. But uh, I'm gonna to need to get down to two thousand here at Gleam, and then kind of coming in here seventeen at quotes, and on down and in. And this is a this is a step down approach oh boy this uh, is going to be interesting guys <laughs> ah what the heck we'll be fine 100 percent fine just for grins flip the toggle switch to the right all right if i do that okay that goes there you want me to recenter this guy at uh 
Bravo North. Bravo. 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 Lima, Lomeo, Charlie, 664, contact New York Center, 125.32. Right, I going to 15... 2, I... Well, I'm Number meaning to be... Contact, let appear, approach, 128.4. 128.4, the parade 16. Uh-huh. American 2268 at flight level 220. American 2268, Washington Center, climb maintain, flight level 320. Uh, climb maintain, flight level 320, American 2268. I think he called me Clipper. It should have been Douglas. Alright, um, let me, uh, need to be tracking a little bit more this way. And approach, good evening, uh, Douglas November 11816 at 9 or 1000. There are 11816, Billy, approach the Wilmington Terror 2977. 77, 11816. Yeah, okay. I need to climb a bit. All right, guys. There are 11816. Approach request. Uh, we would like to request the VOR runway 9 or 11816. There are 816. Expect the VOR runway 9 or. All right. I, uh, I'm taking this thing. We're just going to hand fly it here because I'm not... I'm almost worse spinning needles than I am. And I'm not great hand flying either, so. But, uh. Let's see if we can. There we go. We're tracking now. And I need to climb. So I'm trying to. Trying to trim up a little bit here. See if we can get the climb going. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Tom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, you know, the very next frequency I'm gonna put in is fourteen zero. And I'm just gonna leave that in there. That's my, that's my final approach frequency here. That's my localizer frequency. And I'm just gonna try to fly. <laughs> You gotta head out. Yeah, you you definitely don't want to stick around for the carnage there, seven eight seven. But uh, I appreciate it, man. And yeah, we'll we'll catch up with you later. I'll give you a full report. We'll go over all my notes. <laughs> all right, beautiful. So I've got the. Uh, I've got the approach plate pulled up and I'm just gonna I'm just totally cheating because I'm just using Navigraph right now to help me out. I'm gonna be I'm gonna turn 301. And I don't mind I'm losing a little altitude because I am uh because I'm a bit high here, about 150 too high. Okay, I think I'm right about over the top, and time to turn. Hello, Allison. And Raiders, very nice to see you guys. There we go, that should be pretty close. Uh... I say 301. Yeah, overturn there a little bit. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome to the Melvin Leroy channel. We are on our way through the muckety muck here into, um, we hope, <laughs> we hope, we hope into Wilmington. 
and I'm very, very sorry that I'm not going to be a great host here, but I am literally hand flying this, and I have, uh, yeah, I'm struggling. But anyway, welcome, Allie. Thank you, Kev Sim Corner, Inglewood, Allison Johnson. Hello, 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 everyone. Super Typhoon, what's going on, you guys? And somebody pushed the uh, follow button. Thank you. Cozy Flyer. Hi, Cozy Flyer. Welcome. Somebody else just pushed it as well. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. I, I, we're, we're heading down, and Wilmington is uh, 400 so statute miles. And we are flying this thing essentially slant Zulu. And like you can see, there's... I don't know. This is going to be... If I was Allison Johnson, this would be no problem because she would have Captain Arash and... Uh, uh, like they'd be all lined up perfect and like they're flying out to Howland Island but this is me and this is going to be work so anyway <laughs> welcome goblins how's it going how's it going I'm hoping you'll descend us here in a little November bit November 816 turn left heading 270 descend and maintain 5000 left turn 270 and down to 5000 11816 all 1816 right. is a uh, vector to final Vectors file. All right, that helps. Uh, 270. So we have, we do have the, um, we do have the localizer frequency set, and we, we know um, that we want to be inbound on a 091. Whoops! Oops! 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 oops. Whoa! 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 Boy! Don't uh, overspeed and rip the wings off. Yeah, that was bad. Okay, a little too far. So we and know. Our one one eight one six. Uh, let's actually make the heading two nine zero. Fly heading two nine zero. Yeah, but overcooked that a little bit. Two nine zero one one eight one six. All right. Anyway, we know the the frequency. We know the direction. And all of a sudden, we're really stuttering. Cross dress at 3,000, cleared on at runway 9 or approach. Ooh, this is going to add to the challenge sorry, RNF, here, right? 9 or approach to Alpha Uniform. But I don't have a lot of confidence that I'm going to be able to pull this off, so we're going to do the best we can. Okay. Now, we're on, on course, and I'm pulling back power so we can get down to 5,000. Fife looks a bit murky. Indeed, it's uh, some potato soup here, my friend. Not even pea soup, potato soup. Departure United, 1732. Check out. Okay, look, I've drifted off my 290 already. Wow. At 1732, Philly departure, radar contact, proceed, direct ditch, climb and maintain mm. one two, uh, yeah, one two thousand. Direct ditch, one two thousand at 1732. And it's not super windy here, so like. This uh, little porpoising thing I'm doing is just, it's complete lack of skill. I can't, I can't even blame the weather. <laughs> Although I will try. I guarantee I'm going to try to blame something. I will be okay. I don't really want to be descending at 2,000 feet per minute, though, with this, uh, with this airplane. There we go. Let's get it back. About 1,000. And I think we'll be all right. Okay, I can live with that. 5,500. And once we level off, too, this will this will help, right? Okay, it's 1732. Contact uh, New York Center, 12532. See ya. All right, there's five. Let's see if we can hold it. There we go. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, whoever you are. I promise I'll properly thank you at the end of the stream. Did you want um, vectors to final, or are you? Did you want to try to fly the? Uh, 
I would uh, prefer vectors to find on 11816. There are 11816, Roger. Uh, let's make the heading 280. 280, 11816. Okay, and as I'm slowing down here, I'm starting to lose lift. So 280. Keep coming left a little bit here. Thank you guys again so much for coming in. I appreciate you hanging out with me. We've had uh, our friend Fly787. He's been trying to help me with some of the navigational equipment with this old beautiful old Sperry that the, that the Duckworks guys have created. I wasn't quite able to make it work exactly the way we were hoping for some cross-referencing. Um, this thing doesn't have a DME, so we were trying to do a little uh, cross coordination, but wasn't I was missing something there. Uh, but anyway, we're Approach, hello, Voyager, hopefully going to be uh, well, able to get ourselves down where Delta, we need to be. And uh, Allison Voyager Johnson, yeah, absolutely. What a what an awesome event for the Virtual USA Flying Club, and and uh, who promotes women in aviation more than you? So I'm, I'm glad you approve, and it's been fun. Nancy, I don't know a lot about uh, Nancy Harkness Love, but um, she sounds like a badass. So I already like her. <laughs> she she flew B 51s and and uh, B 17s and everything in between as she was ferrying those things across the Atlantic. So that's that's uh, the definition of a badass. Englewood, Allison got me into the exciting world of long haul flights. Oh yeah, oh man, yeah. Allie, Allie will do. A, she'll do a ten hour flight with you, without even thinking about it. Air eight one six. You're presently on a two eight zero heading. Is that correct? We're, yeah, we're trying. One eight sixty. And one one eight one six. Yeah, no problem. I know the wind's pushing you guys around there. Uh, sliding two seven zero. I will look uh, for 270, 11816. Oh boy. Now we're going way too far. Ugh. Yeah, just. Uh, uh, come from that Delta 992 calling. Delta 992. Delta 992, Philly departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 12,000, proceed direct ditch. No, it's been fun watching Allison and uh, some of the stuff that she's done is really incredible um, our local connection to some amazing women aviators uh, lies with uh, Amelia Earhart All right, 816 descend and maintain 3000 3000 11816 um, we I live in Wyoming over in the United States and uh, uh, not a lot of people know but she actually was uh, was building a cabin Delta here kind of like a little uh, a little hidden getaway um, not too far from from where I live, actually, uh, on the uh, gosh dang it, I am just all over the place. Um, right before she took her final trip and uh, and disappeared. So um, anyway, there's there's that local connection with her that is uh, really interesting, and and uh, you can still see a little bit of the foundation is all. That's about all that's left of it. The rancher that was building it uh, just obviously just abandoned the project because uh, she wasn't there anymore. And anyway, kind of a sad piece of of history, but kind of an interesting piece. So I've always been interested in the, in the, that era of uh, of aviation, and, and especially the some of the pathfinding uh, females. It's been really cool. Um, I, I read a book uh, recently called Fly Girls too, which has a lot of interesting characters, including Amelia Earhart. I just flew into Oklahoma City uh, to visit some families, and uh, I, I had forgotten that there is a museum of the of the 99s down there too, which is another um, well-known uh, uh, museum that uh, celebrates some of the innovators and pioneers of, of female aviation. So anyway, she's awesome, and uh, I got to meet her down at Houston this this past year. I'm talking about Allison Johnson, and what a what a fantastic, uh, fantastic person she is. She had, needless to say, a ton of people <laughs> that were that was wanting to talk to her, but she's she was still really nice and 
and took the time to say hello and visit with me just a little bit. So. There are eight one six. Turn left, hitting two five zero. All right, two five zero eight sixteen. Gosh, we're just all over the place. Philly approach, Frontier, Philly 2060, 1,000. Oh, okay. Frontier 2060, Philly approach, the Philly option is 2,900. Uh, there's 25. Right Man, I'm Philly fast, Philly Snyder, so right. fast. Voyager 35, descend and maintain 6,000. I need to get 6, some, I need to get some flaps in here is what Frontier I need to do. Frontier flight 2060, descend and maintain 7,000. I'm making this poor Philly controller Making his life miserable. <laughs> Frontier flight 2060 descend and maintain 7,000. Let me get uh, Frontier flight 2060. All right, I I am planning on going, uh, Allison, for sure. I haven't haven't purchased anything just yet, but uh, I am planning on going. So I look forward to that. I do. I really do. And that was the best oh, part yeah. of Flight Sim Expo. I thought was uh, just chit chatting with people and. Options 21, getting to Philadelphia, meet, getting to meet folks face to face that you, that you sim with and or here on the comms. It's awesome. Okay. I'm trying to level here. I'm about at 3,000 and uh, pretty close to 250. I'm just trying to get my speed down. I like to throw some flaps in here because I'm just uh, passing a beam the field right now. We're not going to break out of this till about 400, so be prepared. Option I am count. not going to fly a mist. <laughs> I, I do not want to push my luck here. Oh, come on. Hey, easy. Gosh dang it. I keep, I keep turning. The winds are just squirrely enough that if you, you pay attention to the, to the wrong dial there for a minute, you completely get pushed off course or you lose your altitude or something you really it's really right, one six descent and maintain two thousand two thousand eight sixteen you just really it's a good little six-pack scan drill here Voyager 35 turn left heading two, although it's zero, more of a uh, uh left heading two, let's see six, zero, nine three, pack five. i think you're right <laughs> Okay, we're heading down, trying to head down to 2,000. Now my speed is getting down where we're a little bit more under control. I'd like to approach at, at a, right about 110 to 120 range, if I could. Get down. In Philadelphia, departure November 962 Alpha Uniform on the Miss. We'd like to resequence for the RNF Runway Niner. Oh, you're on the panel. Turn Heck yeah. 962 Alpha Uniform. That's right, awesome. Turn right heading uh, 180. What a great choice. South. Right turn 180 up to 3,962 Alpha Uniform. Turn eight one six turn right heading uh, zero six zero intercept the final approach course. Right turn zero six zero intercept the final approach course eight sixteen. Okay guys, wish us luck here. Um, Frontier flight twenty sixty descent and maintain four thousand. four thousand. Frontier flight twenty sixty. The, uh, the course is uh, 094. That's what we're looking for here, guys. 094. Uh, four miles from the Gleam. Maintain 2,000 until established on the final approach course. Clear VOR runway 9 or approach. All right. Maintain 2,000 until established and cleared for the VOR runway 9 or approach November 11816. Options 21. Climb maintain 1, Try to get to 2,000. That might be good. 35, Okay, coming around zero six zero. Whoops, I've kind of overturned a little bit there. Okay, there's six. 
All right. There are two so, uniforms. If you want to fly, I don't know if this guy's going to come in or not, but I am IAS looking here to, to try to get uh, overcooked it a little bit here, guys. To try to get my needle. I'm looking for 94. 94. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for, guys. Yeah, that should work right there. Nope, not quite. Yeah, that's that's gonna be pretty close. Frontier flight 2060. The weather just updated. Wind zero nine zero one zero, and the altimeter two nine seven seven. All right, that's that needle is not working, so we're gonna. Frontier flight 2060, turn right heading. Uh, we're gonna make our turn, and we're gonna vector ourselves here. A little Voyager bit low. Voyager 35 descend and maintain 4,000. All right. 4,000. Voyager 35. All right, guys. I'm gonna bounce out. Uh, I just had to step away after landing and pressing my. Oh stuff, goodness. Uh, take a nap. All right, man. Take it easy, buddy. Warriors, have a good rest of the flight. Go ahead, man. Okay. Climbing again. Let's just level. I'm going to put another notch of flaps out. Let's just get level. Okay. Frontier flight 2060 turn right heading 060. Intercept the localizer. I have a little ground contact, which is nice. I just am looking for landing or runway lights here. If I can find them. We're pretty close. Although again, this thing, uh, we're we're kind of on it. This let me down a little bit, but that shows I think I'm close. I think I'm close. I'm hitting gleam. I should be at uh, 1,000. Oh, I'm low. Almost a gleam. Five miles out. I was supposed to be at 1,700 at gleam. So I'm going to. Oops. Hey, hello. November 816 contact, Wellington Tower 1260. 260. Thanks for the help, 816. 1260. Shoot. I wish I would have had that preset. Frontier flight 2060, four miles from D line, maintain 4,000 till established on the localized and cleared Alex Zulu runway 9 or right approach. There's no way I'm going to even be close to lined up when I get back here. Dang, that sucks. Yep, I drifted. At Tower, hello, November 11816, VOR runway 9 or. November 11816, Wellington Tower, winds 100 at 9 runway 9 or, clearly. And when I declared land, one one eight one six. Yeah, I'm just falling off my radial here, and uh, I'm just looking now visually. Third land, you're coming down. Let's stay right here. Try to get back lined up with the uh, localizer. Okay, we should be close now. We should be close. The fact that we have ground contact right now is actually good because we weren't supposed to have it until 400 feet. At least that's what it was a little while ago. We may have to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, shuffling here late, but I I think we're going to be in the neighborhood. If we do have to go mist, it's actually just curving right back around to the VOR. We climb to uh, climb to 1,200 and make a right hand turn just right back to the VOR. Let's try not to do that if we don't have to. Have to run, Alley. Okay. Thanks again for the raid and raiders. Thank you guys. Great to great to have you hop on board. And uh, I understand completely. You've been going since really early this morning. Um, am I? Is this my? Oh my gosh. It's my airport. No, this is not my airport. That freaked me out for a minute there. 
We're getting close. Maybe we are going to be at uh, 400 feet after all. Third notch and final notch of flaps. Trench run here, isn't it? I seem to vaguely recall this airport in the past. Oh boy. Can't get too low here. How close am I? Oh, I'm way off. I am way off. Oh boy, I'm way off. Oh, I've got. Oh man, I am way off. I think I can maybe salvage it though. Holy cow, this is going to be tricky. Wow, was that low? Low, low, low. I'm not down yet. I see a nine. Yes, I do. That was a little bit of a miracle. Douglas bounce. Let's see if I can keep from sliding off the runway here once I get the tail down. Oh man. Alright, that was sketchy. And uh, were it not for Navigraph moving maps, I would have never made it. Tower, good afternoon, Voyagers. But Three, we'll take five, it. ILS 01. Oh, he's coming the other way. Voyager 35, we'll win the tower at 1100 at Niner runway. Fly it all the way to the ramp. Yeah, I am that. indeed. Thank you guys. Holy cow. All right. Oh, land, Voyager 35. I'm just getting out of the way here. I don't think this is necessarily where. November 816, contact ground point seven. Good day. All right, over to ground point seven. We'll see you. Let's stop here and let's breathe for a moment. <laughs> Crap, point seven. Uh, yeah. Well, I wish I would have been a little bit. I wish I could have used the uh, cross referencing VORs, but a little better. But that's okay. It was still, this was still fun. 21.7. All right, let's uh, flip that over and let's give our guy a call here. And ground, hello, November 11816. So we're off a of runway nine or at Kilo 4. And we're just going to go straight ahead to the cargo ramp. That's okay. November 11816, Wilmington ground. Good evening. Taxi via Kilo, Kilo 4. Good night. Kilo, Kilo 4, 1186. Alright, well, um, alright. Let's take it in here and, uh, let's get, let's get it done. You know, the one thing is we didn't ice up, so that was at least something that's a positive. But I wasn't able to get you a lot of outside shots here, unfortunately. But, you know, I'm going to have to look into that uh, cross-referencing VOR trick again and just see what it is I'm not doing quite correctly, but Dumont Aviation, what if, what if I could fit into their hangar? <laughs> Alright, this is another uh, freeware add-on scenery, and again, looks beautiful, doesn't it? Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, let's get her shut down, boys and girls. That was uh, that was a fun one, though. That was really a fun one. Um, we are going to... Actually, let's come up here. Oh, I left the booster pumps on the whole time. Just like the pros. Lights are coming off. Reset the Jennies. Windshield, pedo, wing, ice, de-icer, landing lights, 
And Beacon Avionics all can come off. And then I will pull the mixtures back to cut off. Magnetos off. Starters, master starter switch off. And uh, ship battery off. Watch it spin down for me here. Beautiful. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. Let me get caught up here. A lot happened <laughs> in that little flight. We had all kinds of stuff, by the way, going on. That's why you see all the uh, emotes there, all the all the train icons drawn from my junior first officer grandson. Uh, we made it to a level two hype train, but I didn't know how far we went, so I I put all of the different uh, ones. Here's the last part, by the way. There's the did I get all of them up there? Hype one, two, three. Yeah. So anyway, that's why all the hype train stuff is up there. I uh, really appreciate that, by the way. That was really cool. That was a, a direct result of early on, we had a five pack, a high five of gift ascriptions from Continuum. So that was uh, to Resplendent Dingbat, Subsonic Flight, Ryobard, Four Day Fermi, and Hat Rat. That came on the heels of a 50 month re ascription from our friend Jet Pilot Cinnamon, which uh, was fantastic. And uh, and also, our our friend Tom flies seven eight seven came in with a four month re ascription. So, um, yeah, I mean, wow, what a way to start things off. We had a moose raid early on. Thank you very much, moose. And then we had an Allison Johnson raid uh, toward the end there, and uh, was was great fun having everybody in. And hopefully, uh, you know, it was. Uh, close enough to a decent flight <laughs> that it wasn't completely cringeworthy um but uh what i wasn't able to do a very good job of while i was on that approach is welcome all of our new followers so thank you very much uh kozaki flyer 66 uh we have six uh Sizrix. we have goblinos we have osu boy we have uh nova king elite and hopefully i haven't missed anybody but welcome everybody it is wonderful to have you as a part of the channel and uh, looking forward to getting to know you as we continue to fly. We do mostly Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday flights here, and uh, it's in a little bit of everything. So sometimes it's a DC-3, sometimes it's, a, it's an A320, sometimes it's a helicopter. I just kind of bounce around and uh, whatever just sort of sounds good at the time is what I try to fly which is why I don't really fly anything all that well I'm uh, good enough to sort of get things airborne and then we just hope for the best after that but you know what the heck it makes for some interesting um, content hopefully anyway uh, all right I think it's time to wrap it up though it's been a good afternoon and I'm possibly possibly have a movie date here a little bit later on so I'm gonna do this thanks for watching my papa Yes, indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Subsonic. See you later, my friend. Drobart, um, I missed a bunch of your usual uh, commentary where you're dropping knowledge all over the place. But yeah, uh, definitely enjoy having you here, Drobart. Thanks for coming in. Ali, of course, thank you as well. Um, everybody else uh, that came in with her good fixings. Um, I hope your flight went well, and I hope you flew something that was uh, a little more RNAV capable than what I did. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, I, I think you guys probably made it all right. A special thank you. I know, Tom, you're out here, but Fly787, holy cow, dude. Thank you uh, a ton for trying to help out. And uh, man, oh man, I, uh, I do appreciate that. Um, it is... Uh, that's great. I love learning from you. So uh, you know so dang many things, and yeah, I really, uh, I really appreciate uh, you trying to trying to help me out. Um, everybody else, I'm kind of at the end of my uh, at my uh, stream here. I think, or my uh, my text that I can that I can um, scroll. I think uh, just hugging you were another one that was really helping me out as well. So if you're still here, thank you again. You and you and uh, Fly 787 Continuum were trying to all point me in that right direction, but uh, 
Um, and then I think I also saw Sleazy does it again. Sleazy, if I didn't say hi to you, hello. Pandagon, I think you were in here as well. Good fixings, I think I said also. And anybody else who came in um, and I didn't welcome, I, I thanks for thanks for spending a little bit of your time. I mean, time is precious, man. It's weekend especially, so that means a lot. It really truly does. And uh, you know, I greatly appreciate that. I'll, I will try to try to pay that forward as uh, best I can. Speaking of paying it forward, I think there's a couple of uh, dudes that may be kind of fun to uh, go raid and check out and uh, see, um, yeah, see what's going on. We've got actually there's several several excellent options here, um, and you know what uh, we haven't. Let's see. Let's uh, let's go over. This is gonna make you. This is gonna make you be either crazy or happy. But uh, Corbinator is doing some shared flight with J Snap in the seven two seven. Uh, or 747. Sorry, it's not going to make you crazy. I, initially, I read that as 727, and that's why I'm like, oh, this is going to drive you crazy because it's not quite ready for X Plane 12 yet. But this is the Fila, so this is cool. You'll enjoy that. Let's go say hey to Torbinator and J Snap and the uh, and the shared cockpit crew over there, uh, and uh, wish them well. I will be back on Tuesday. I'm not sure where I'm flying, but I'll be back about. Uh, uh, remember the time changes tomorrow so it'll be midnight zulu it's uh, six in the evening my time but midnight zulu on tuesday and i look forward to flying with you again cannot wait in fact to fly with you so have a good rest of your weekend and uh, we will see you on tuesday god bless